Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at uh, the new features that comes with your One UI 2.5 update. So if you go in here into software information, you can see this is One UI version 2.5. So let's uh, look at all the new features that come with this update. So one of the big features is in your camera settings. So let's go to your camera. And if you tap on more, then tap on pro video. In Pro Video, there is quite a number of new features that has been added. So one of them is the cinematic video recording. So within this uh, mod, within the Pro mod, you can adjust the resolution of your video. You can change the frame rate uh, from uh, 24 FPS to higher. And you can also change the ratio. So if I tap on this ratio button, you can see we can have 9 to 16, 8K, or 9 to 21, 8K resolution. Then you've got 9 to 16, 9 to 21 ratio. And that are the new features that wasn't available uh, before. Now, if we go into settings, in settings, you can see if we tap on Pro Video Size, there is a new section called Pro Video Size. And here you can choose uh, for a particular ratio. Uh, for this one here, 16 to 9, you can choose different uh, frame rate and different resolutions. So you've got one here up to 24s and all the way up to 120 FPS. And then you've got 21 to 9. You can choose 21 to 9 with different, uh, different uh, resolution and different uh, frame rate. And uh, so I'm just going to go back. Okay, another improved features is the microphone uh, settings. So if you tap on the microphone settings, now you've got bi-directionals. Uh, while recording, you can choose omni direction. You can choose the front direction, rear. You can choose uh, USB. And a new feature is the Bluetooth uh, recording. So you can use your earbuds. And uh, if you connect it to Bluetooth, and that can be, your earbuds can be used as a microphone, so that you can don't have to be right next to your phone. You can be far away, uh, recording a film, and yeah, you can use that earbuds as a microphone as well. So that is another features. Now, if we swipe across here, so I'm just gonna get out of this one here. I think it's good to do with the ratio. So here, if I swipe across, there is also a zoom feature. So if I'm recording, I can tap on a zoom button and I can zoom in or zoom out. So while recording, I can perform a zooming features. So you can see I can slowly uh, zoom in and I can slowly zoom out. So that is another feature, uh, giving you uh, the ability to zoom while you are recording a uh, pro video. Now you can see here there is also a, uh, a volume uh, unit meter. So this one basically gives you an, uh, a, a reading of the current level of the microphone. Then over here, if you tap on this button, there is a histogram graph. This graph here basically shows you the grayscale of an image uh, while recording, so you can look at it. Uh, if you know how to use it, then it can be useful. Uh, if you don't really know how to use this histogram graph, then it doesn't really uh, mean anything, so you can just switch it off. Now, when you tap on this, it also tells you uh, what uh, resolution you're choosing and what FPS you're currently uh, recording on as well. So that extra information helps. Uh, you don't have to uh, keep going back into settings to check uh, what settings you are actually recording. So you can just tap on that and it tells you straight away your current resolution and frame rate. Now there is also an adjust focus button in the camera uh, viewing window. So you can have a uh, single uh, focus in the center or uh, focus with multiple points. Now in the toolbar at the bottom here, there is also a reset button. So in case you have messed up the settings, you can see in pro mode, sometimes it can be easily uh, messed up. And uh, if you mess it up, there is a reset button that you can, you can tap and that will allow you to go back to the default settings. And then if you go into your settings, so go into settings, and if you go down, 
there is a touch vibration switch you can switch it on in your camera so that when you touch on certain things uh, your phone will uh, give you a haptic feedback so depending on uh, what you press on your camera it can give you a uh, haptic feedback so that is another uh, additional settings in here that will become available once you update to uh, 2.5 also in pro mode you may uh, notice here um, some of the buttons here have been rearranged uh, such as the shutter speed is now next to your uh, ISO so that's for cameras uh, some of the changes uh, in uh, camera especially for the pro mode in pro videos you got quite a bit of update which allow you to make um, films or whatever you need to do in pro mode which is really a great update for the camera now if you are using a third party launcher like Nova Launcher you now have the ability to use gesture navigations so we can go in here go into settings and then we go down into display and in navigation bar we can use now swipe gestures for your uh, third party launcher as you can see now this is uh, using gesture navigations so that is one more new feature as for the keyboard there is also a new update so you can see here when i'm trying to text someone i can bring up the keyboard and if i tap on the option button right here then there is also a youtube app right here so if i tap on that I can actually link to video you can see in the keyboard the, I can link to some of the popular videos I can search for videos and then I can simply uh, tap on the videos to share a link like that so that is a new update to the keyboard now you can see in, uh, in here's some of the orange items such as uh, search translate or Samsung pass anything that has orange uh, dot that's just to indicate some of the feature is quite new and you can use it so that is something that you might want to explore okay now if you swipe down the navigation panel at the top here and you can see in the shortcut panel there is a new button called Dex you can tap on this button to connect to your TV without the use of a cable so now there is a wireless uh, Dex so you can see here say so connect wirelessly so if it detects a um, wireless uh, TV uh, that has the mirror cast capability then you can uh, connect your phone to the TV so you tap on that and then it will try to search for a wireless uh, device and here it start it locate the wireless on my TV so on this TV here I use a dongle it has mirror cast function and uh, it will try to connect to the TV right now and it is connected and you can see on the TV now it is um, showing uh, what is on my phone to the TV now this does not mirror the phone on the TV but rather it extends the functionality of your phone to the TV in here I can uh, swipe down and then tap on this and use your phone as a touchpad so I can move on my touchpad right here so if I zoom out a little bit so you can see this is like a touchpad I can rotate it so I can hold it this way so I can tap it this way and I can you can see if I move my hand on the touchpad right here the mouse or the cursor on the TV also uh, move and if I open gallery then you can see it will open up gallery but on my phone it is just a simply a touchpad so I'm just going to hold it this way so it's easier to, to have a look now I can use three finger gesture to move up and that will basically open up reason app or I can swipe down with three fingers to go back home I can also swipe across like this to go back and forth and so that is the basics of uh, connecting uh, your phone to the TV through uh, wireless uh, decks with the Samsung Notes running One UI 2.5, it can now also manage PDF files. So you can import, uh, make changes to the file, you can write on the files, and then you can also save and export the files. In terms of the Samsung Notes app, you can also add audio file uh, to the text. So in here I can also add 
uh, insert file so I can tap on the attach icon and I can choose voice recording or audio files so I can do voice recording based on that uh, particular line of text right there I can pause I choose the record I can continue or I can stop and I can go to the next line and continue to insert audio file or voice recording and then I can stop so that is another new feature to the Samsung Notes app now there is also a new Wi-Fi features and so when you're trying to connect to a Wi-Fi network and uh, if you don't know the password you can ask your friend if your friend is nearby connecting to the same router you can ask them for a password uh, you can send them a request uh, on your settings here and it will uh, send a request to your friends if your friends is on your contact list and that is the only way how you can request the password if you they are on the contact list you can send them you can send them a request and they will be able to um, share the password with you on your device so you don't even need to uh, manually enter in the password now with the default uh, messaging app uh, from samsung there is also a new category tab right here and you can manage your text messages uh, by adding a new category and you can group them uh, by category as well so that is a new function to your messages and as for the reminder uh, app you can now uh, tap on the option key go into settings and there is a new option a preset of time and places so you can choose a preset time and a preset places and there is also a new share reminders as well so those are all the new uh, features that has been implemented with One UI 2.5. Now there may be some new features that I might have missed. Uh, you can add them in the comment section and share what you have found. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.